I am Kelly Evans, and I'm the sports editor and office manager at the new Tri-State Defender. And you are watching the new TSD television, our digital video platform that you guys can check out on a daily basis. Now, today is Thursday, September 25th, and your paper is now in stores. So check that out. Want to know where to get a paper? Visit www.tsdmemphis.com and take a look at our distribution outlets. We're in a lot of new places, folks, including some of the Walmart stores, some more map codes, some more Walgreens. So definitely check us out. Well, today Today, I'm talking to you about sports, none other than. So let's go over what went down in sports this past week and what to look forward to this upcoming weekend. Well, last week, as you know, the University of Memphis Tigers defeated the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders at the Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium. Now, that was a really good game. The Tigers looked good. Everybody was great on offense. Um, defense really picked up there in the game, and that was a 36-17 win. And this came after they lost to the UCLA Bruins. Now, I think that was a loss that people can say they'll take because the Tigers played with heart. They knew what they wanted to go in to do, so let's tip it off to the Tigers. Now, Saturday, they will be facing the Ole Miss Rebels, so let's look forward to that. The Tigers are 2 and one. The Rebels are three and zero. Oh, so let's think about what's going on with that, and let's definitely take a look and let's wish those Tigers luck as they go down the road. Now, covering the Tigers this weekend will be um, our new beat writer Anthony Sane and our photojournalist Warren Roseboro. So let's check the two of them out as they go and um, give us some good information. We look forward to really hearing what's going on. Now, speaking of Mr. Sane. He now does a report called the Four Paws. So in today's release, if you want to figure out what's happening with the Tigers and Ole Miss and what to look for, what to look forward to, the defense, the offense, and offense, and a few predictions, definitely check Mr. Sane out. Um, again, tsdmemphis.com or pick up your paper. The Tennessee Titans offense fell apart on Sunday when they suffered a loss against the Cincinnati Bengals, 33-7. But this Sunday, hopefully, they will make it up. They will be facing the Indianapolis Colts. So, Titans, you have a lot of fans here in Memphis, a lot of fans around. So, let's see what you guys are going to do. Hopefully, you can come back from the loss that you suffered around the NFL for you football fans. Let's talk about who's going to play. Tonight, you can watch the New York Giants play the Washington Redskins. So if you're into Thursday night football, let's catch that game. Sunday, you've got Carolina playing Baltimore, Green Bay, Chicago, Buffalo, Houston, of course, Tennessee, who will play the Indianapolis Colts, Detroit and the New York Jets, Miami and Oakland, Tampa Bay and Pittsburgh, Jacksonville and San Diego, Atlanta and Minnesota, and Philadelphia and San Francisco. And again, um, New Orleans and Dallas, and also Monday Night Football, you can catch the Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs. Memphis Grizzlies will depart for training camp on Monday. They will go to the University of California, San Diego. It's their first trip there, and they're looking to really start training for a really good upcoming season for you guys. Check me out next week, and I'll have some interviews of the players and the coaches talking about the upcoming season, um, kind of what the plans are, what they're looking for, and we'll go from there, folks. So just make sure you tune in. Now, let's talk about something that we have today. We have um, some guys who do a regular opinion piece for us. That is Mr. Howard Robertson and Larry Robinson. And um, these guys are really, really good. They do a weekly opinion piece for us, as I stated. And you can look for them today in today's paper. 
This week, they will give us their take on the exploitation of verbal war games in the African-American community. So I know you guys know what's been going on. Uh, Colin Kaepernick has been fined for using a racial slur. But you've also, um, you should be familiar with the beef that's been going on between 50 Cent and Boyd Mayweather. So they're going to touch a little bit about that and give their opinion. Now, these two gentlemen, you can catch them on their nationally syndicated radio show, A Little R&R on Sports. That's www.rnronsports.com. So check them out. Now, until tomorrow and keep watching TSD TV, we are looking for feedback from you guys. And for me, until next week. But you can catch us all, TSD TV. Peace.